Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today we're gonna be talking about Dying Light 2. So the game is finally out and hopefully everyone who is playing the game is enjoying the game as well. Now with the release of Dying Light 2 we also had the day one patch drop which actually has as Teclan said more than a thousand fixes. Now keep in mind day one patches are important because they are done prior to actually having people like play the game early so I was playing Dying Light 2 without this day one patch so I'm going to give you my honest opinion what I think about the performance fixes and everything else and also we are going to go through all of the most important fixes um, that day one patch actually brought so let's go into it. So first things first when it comes to the PC version that's the one I was playing on it has seen a little bit of an improvement from the patch before. Now keep in mind from time to time when I was playing Dying Light 2 I had uh, some stuttering issues as I was going throughout the city. Keep in mind I was running this on 3070 Ti and i7-7700 from Intel so obviously like my CPU is going to bottleneck my GPU a little bit but at the same time the problems that I was getting is that from time to time you will get random stuttering which is not going to be fixed until I actually don't restart the game. Now after updating my GPU with the latest drivers and also patching the game, I sadly had that problem again. Now keep in mind, the problem is completely random, I'm going to show you the gameplay right now on how it looks. So I don't know what happens, uh, the frame rate just becomes really really low. Keep in mind, uh, again, I fixed this by just restarting the game. And the problem itself was completely random, so I can play for 5 hours sometimes and I will have zero problems. Or I will play for half an hour and this problem is going to arise, but nothing which a restart won't fix. So I'm still not sure what the problem is. Is it either memory leaks or is it connected maybe to the Nuvo because the Nuvo anti-cheat and anti-temper um, software was implemented into the game prior to release, which I am not a fan of. I don't think that the Nuvo has place in video games because it brings more problems and actually brings more good to the actual game but nevertheless um, the problem is completely random and I can say at least when it comes to everything else like all of the other stuttering in the game and uh, just random FPS drops at least those problems are now completely gone at least when it comes to my PC version but again from time to time randomly I will have this issue where frame rate just completely drops down. When it comes to the PlayStation 4 version, I'm talking about Slim and also Xbox One. I've talked with some people, they showed me gameplay, and so far the game is flowing really well. It doesn't have any huge problems that um, either break the game or break your PlayStation or anything like that. So at least when it comes to frame rate, it's 30 frames, obviously, as it's going to be on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But at the same time, as far as I could have seen, the frame rate itself is relatively stable. So that's definitely a positive sign. But of course, you can actually uh, go and watch some other gameplay. I'm going to leave you some links from people that I trust um, down below. So you can also check out some raw gameplay. Now, when it comes to the fixes for patch day one, they added DLSS. So DLSS is now enabled and it also improved the default DLSS sharpness. Overall, it does help, especially um, if you want more frames and if you want to push um, the graphics of the game to the fullest extent and you also want to optimize that DLSS works really well which um, I was a little bit worried about because sometimes DLS can actually straight up not work or break the game but in Dying Light 2 it's really well. It's, it's going well. When it comes to other fixes, this is what they said. They fixed the broadcast infinite respawn story block. They fixed the dialogues that block story progression. Luckily, I didn't have these issues, but it's good that they fixed. The uh, re-signing to the co-op session doesn't fail in case the user is logged in. So hopefully this is going to solve co-op now because uh, some people have been reporting that um, they are having trouble logging in and actually playing co-op and also the main website for Dying Light 2 and Techland is down at this moment so I'm guessing they're experiencing a lot of load on their servers hopefully everything is going to be uh, you know solved soon. They fix the crash when handling electrical parts to Carlos in Bazaar, so that's good. Fix problems with temporarily lowering the difficulty level, improved adaptive difficulty for AIs. Fixed crash caused by background renderer during the transition between menu and loading screens. This is the problem that I had because initially my game crashed three times um, prior to that, or well, four times now. But um, after day one patch, I didn't experience any crashes whatsoever. So at least on that front, when it comes to crashing, 
that's good on my end. They increased the Vivai's overall memory limit, uh, fixed for missing sound and voiceover. Obviously, there were some problems with sound, and you would have sometimes glitches in sound where it's going to produce a certain sound, which does make any sense. This has also been fixed, so this is great. Resolved problems with objects and AI sinking into the ground on a flat surface. Yes, this is definitely needed because there were a few times where I either had uh, items under the ground and I couldn't loot them because they were under the ground or people would just fall through the ground itself. Added missing uh, game action, fixing the game's unresponsiveness. Now, keep in mind, there are still some unresponsiveness in the game, especially when I want to use my scan with Q, if I want to use the senses over me to like see where can I loot. From time to time it cannot work, even when I'm standing in place, not moving and just pressing Q, sometimes it actually has a problem of triggering, so hopefully um, that also gets a little bit more fixed, because even with day one patch, I was running into those issues. And they added extra protection against potential crashes, so hopefully this is going to work, because honestly, sometimes when you crash and when you're mid-mission or at the end, the problem is you have to redo it again, and sometimes that can be incredibly frustrating. And they also fixed disconnecting co-op sessions after a certain amount of time. So yes, overall, day one patch has fixed a lot, especially when it comes to the overall frame rate in my game, because uh, where I had some micro stutters or where my frame rate wasn't really up to par with the GPU that I have in my system, now those problems are relatively gone. Again, as I said, I do have this problem where everything starts stuttering, but that's fixed with this restart and um, those problems are becoming less and less often, often and honestly, they can be so random that I don't even know what actually triggers those things, so hopefully someone smarter can actually go and explain. Besides that, the devs actually said that they looked into all of the feedback they had prior to the launch of the game. Keep in mind, some things which are done in day one patch, obviously there are more things which are also going to be um, presented in the later update. So, so far the game is flowing well for people, but of course, report down below in the comments if you experience any huge issues. But that's just my opinion, what I think about it so far. It's a lot better, um, it doesn't have those micro stutters, and honestly, like the, I, I, I don't know why, but even the parkour seems a little bit more uh, streamlined, so I think they also optimized how Aiden jumps across buildings and how ledges work and how the player model actually connects to those ledges and how it all works. So that's good. So that's all for this video. I don't want to go for too long because there is nothing else to talk about. I will have more Dying Light 2 videos. Also, Cyberpunk patch 1.5 is coming soon, so we're going to dive into that as well and various other things which I have planned for this channel. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And also check us out on Twitter and Discord. This is L Okay, I'm signing out. Huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.